What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Friday, November 8th, 2024. We have more floods, fires, tornadoes, and hurricanes. And now, escape monkeys from a research lab. Today, we're going to start in Spain, where a year's worth of rain fell in under eight hours. Spain has also removed more than 200 dams in recent years, and I am seeing this very same thing happen across the United States. But that's another story. Just prior to the flooding in Spain, we saw some geoengineered skies. We also saw this ship, the Osman Khan power ship. Now I couldn't say for sure, but the metal structure on this ship sure reminds me of the harp phased array high frequency cross dipole antennas. And just before the devastating floods hit, these orbs had made their appearance. From Philo of Byblos, the watchers of heaven were formed like an egg. Earlier this week, we saw tornadoes break out across Arkansas and Oklahoma. This radar clip from Oklahoma was sent to me by Jen Krenzel. Thanks, Jen. What I want you to notice is the phased array pulses being emitted. Phased array antenna systems have high pulse rates, high transmit power, and beam steering. And so this was my sky today. They spray the trails in the sky and then pulse these aerosols with high frequencies from Nexrad. This infographic here shows us what phased array antenna pulses look like with water. We have fires burning from the east coast to the west coast. Tonight we're only going to take a look at the Blue Mountain Fire in Pennsylvania and the Mountain Fire in California. The Blue Mountain Fire, or the Gap Fire, in Pennsylvania has burned 600 acres and is more than 50% contained. They are calling it a controlled burn now. I did see there was a huge amount of lithium discovered across western Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania also has several smart city initiatives. Every time we see disasters, floods, fires, we keep finding lithium deposits and smart city plants. We also find controlled and prescribed burns. Power companies are usually at fault of something. Cloud seeding and geoengineering are always taking place. Let's take a look at the mountain fire in California. The mountain fire has burned more than 20,000 acres with only 5% containment, forcing more than 10,000 people to evacuate and hundreds of homes destroyed, maybe more. That they've experienced 100 mile an hour wind gusts, and that reminded me of Lahaina, Hawaii. But what really got my attention was this next video clip. And of course, learn no Look at that. that. people live in, and hopefully everybody got out. They are and huge the people, homes. It's gotta be celebrity homes. Make these shots easier for us to do because for a while there, the winds, this is what actually brought the fire into this neighborhood. We're kind of Makes moving you from wonder. the south, the, 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 the west to the Look south. Look at that. And that's what brought the flames. Look how big these now houses the winds are. are actually changing up once again. And now we can actually Look at see that, that devastation, which is kind of weird. Of you got County one, in two, Ventura three, County, four, California. Four, this cul-de-sac, five on the other side, and all gone. So this, what do y'all think? Neighbors, they probably all know each wow. other. Now they're coming back to... I see there's more than 20 homes like that. To see. And again, what can Burning to the ground. Like I, I... No forest fire, homes reduced to ashes and leaving no trace. But the trees are fine. They were not on fire. Kind of ironic for a forest fire. So I recorded this radar anomaly on Tuesday, November 5th, 2024, out of central Mexico. This next clip I saw on Into Thin Air, and what we're seeing here are time-reversed electromagnetic waves, where two radar beams cross one another. This is scalar technology, and should be considered a microwave-directed energy weapon, and it is capable of creating true doomsday scenarios. We can also see some type of chaff or aerosol being released over Area 51 and it's being steered over Southern California and flowing back into the jet stream. Whatever this is, it can't be good. This next story screams psychological operation and it reminds me of the beginning of an apocalyptic movie like Outbreak. 
And I think that's their goal. It's for 40 monkeys that escaped from the Alpha Genesis facility in Yemisee. WJCL 22 News is Kyron Navo live in the Low Country, keeping his head on a swivel with those primates on the run. And of course, this is a public safety alert. Kai, what is the latest on these missing monkeys? Well, Frank, good morning. So, yeah, like you mentioned, 40 monkeys escaped from the Alpha Genesis facility. It happened around nine. We definitely have a lot of monkey business happening around the world. All right, guys, I'd like to thank Karen, Donna Hu, Ruth, and Karen Peterson for buying me a coffee and helping to support the channel. Much love and many thanks. Okay, my friends, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.